Hi everyone, this is Mike coming to you live from the Edge of Madness here at Roots to Wings. I have a question for you this afternoon. What is abundance? How do you experience it? How do you measure it? And what could it possibly have to do with anything that we're doing at Roots to Wings this winter? This week I had a chance to take an early morning yoga class uh, at Roots to Wings. And there were a couple classes going on at the time, and there was one coming in as the classes were emptying. And so the, the parking lot and the studio were completely full, and everybody was happy. I think everybody was happy primarily because the sun was out and that I wasn't teaching the class. Um, but the feeling that was here in the space and in the lobby was reminded me um, of a, an experience that I had of abundance. And I, it was a deep experience for me because I, it caused me to think about abundance in a very different way than I would have traditionally thought about abundance. And abundance being, you know, with family and meal celebrations with family over the holidays and giving presents and sharing and seeing folks that you haven't seen for a while. And all of those things certainly are aspects of abundance. But this abundance is a little bit different. There's an energy to it that's different, unlike anything that I'd ever experienced before. And the best way that I can describe it is it feels like, imagine taking all of the best qualities of yourself, the best gifts that you have to offer, and really wanting to share those with other people. And going to a party where everybody going to that party wants to do the exact same thing. And you know these people, and you trust these people, and you've done deep training, you've cried with these people, you've laughed with these people, you've sweated with these people, you've complained with these people, you've shared, you've laughed, everything with these people. And you go to the party, and you really want to share all of your best stuff. And it's there, and it's available, and it comes out of you effortlessly, freely, completely, and you feel totally embraced by the experience of everyone's gifts. You feel confident in the gifts that you have to share. That's the feeling of abundance that I'm talking about. And how it's related to the yoga teacher training program that we have coming up in February is, the yoga teacher training program that we are offering is really about using the practices of yoga as a means for personal transformation. It's very deep work. You can do the yoga teacher training to get a certification if you want to get certified to teach yoga. Wonderful. It's an amazing certification program recognized with the Yoga Alliance. But this yoga teacher training program that we want to offer is really more about and really appropriate for people who want to experience a deeper part of yoga than is possible in classes, than is possible in workshops, and we can only get that experience by sort of, if you will, going to the mountain. And when I say going to the mountain, I mean committing yourself to being with a, traveling with a group of people who you don't know or may not know for an extended period of time and being courageous enough to look at your edges, being courageous enough to surrender to what you um, don't know and to try something new. That's what the yoga teacher training program that we're offering at Roots to Wings is all about. And that's why we waited so long to offer a yoga teacher training program here at Roots to Wings. Jovina Chan, who led yoga teacher trainings, was the assistant dean of the Kripala School of Yoga when I was there many years ago, is coming to lead this training. And she is wild, she's fun, she's amazing, she's energetic. And I can honestly say from the bottom of my heart, that the opportunity to spend five months with Javina Chan is a gift of many lifetimes. I hope you'll think about and consider the Yoga Teacher Training Program at Roots to Wings coming up this February. We have an information session coming up about it uh, this Sunday at 8 a.m. and then another one at 11.30. They're half an hour. They're before and after our Sunday morning classes if you want to learn more about the, the training program. If you can't make it, just send us an email or reach out in some way and we'll get back to you and talk to you um, and um, share whatever you want, whatever you want to know and understand about the yoga teacher training program. Thank you for giving me a few minutes of your time to, to listen to this. I hope it made some kind of coherent sense and that you got a little bit of a taste of um, the
the abundance that's available to all of us in every moment, even though it's not, we don't experience it in every moment. I certainly don't experience it in every moment, but I want to, and I think it's possible, and I think um, it's possible for all of us. So take care, and we'll see you soon.